two teams walking out where we have France to the left and um, Italy to the right. Tom Charles now down. Second at this year's, uh, well, last year's Olympic, Olympic Games in Rio. He's been shooting solid as well, I think, for the individual finals. I think he is. He might yeah. be up. Yeah. Marco in just a matter of seconds. We are having Italy shooting first at target two, and uh, France shooting second. The two teams, Italy was ranked second after qualification round, and France was ranked fourth. So it's rather similar, rather close. And both managed to make their ways into the gold medal final, which is uh, amazing uh, performances from both of these teams. Here we see David shooting the first arrow, shooting a nine outright. That's still a pretty good shot. See here what Marco can do. If he He's can. got both the thin and the thick arrows in his uh, quiver. Oh, really? I'm not sure if, if the thin ones are just for outdoor shooting. Oh, that's so a that's great a nice shot. Turn. Hmm. It might be. Might be that he just keeps them all there. Yeah, maybe it's time to tune his bow when he's done with this match. Who knows? Or maybe we'll change it up. I mean, I think everyone's getting ready for outdoor season after yes, this shoot. I am. I'll definitely be. That's a 10. Wow, Italy starting off strong with a 29. Time for France. The home nation of France to shoot their first end. See what they can do. Yes. That's a nice 10. Next, Olivier. Another solid 10. France. France must be feeling, yeah, uh, feeling great right now. Being at home turf. Just shooting for the country in their country. Another turn and they will be leading for the first three arrows. Yes. I believe John Charles Vallonon here is looking super solid. And he is solid. So That's a turn. That's a great start. Solid. 30 for the first three arrows. You can't do much better, can you? No. I mean, of course, you want to put those Best arrows way to start. dead center in the middle. but. I mean, a 10 is a 10. A 10. There are no ugly 10s. David shooting an eight. That might be an eight, yeah. He's out on the right on both his arrows. Might be giving that some clicks right there. Yes, yes. So he's talking to his teammate and they'll probably come up with something. Marco Galeazzo up front shooting his arrow now. That's a good shot, that's a nine just, just out. You, you, saw, you saw him giving that little flinch upwards. But yes, yeah. Did not do anything. No, often when you do give it the onion, as Steve Anderson would say, it's uh, it's usually too little, too late. The arrow's already gone, but it's a reaction from from your brain. That's, so that's a, that's ten. a ten. That's what they need. Fifty-six points out of possible sixty. Let's let's go on to France right now and see how they what, what they will do. They were starting off strong. Let's see if they can continue strong. Here we have uh, Florent. With a nice 10. He's both a little high 10s, but I mean, oh, yeah. they're both solid in the 10. No, that's him. Might be a liner. I think he does that. Just another 10, and they, they start off with a perfect score. Let's see if France will uh, 
Let's see if France will uh, shoot a perfect 60. John Charles oh. shot an eight. Oh, I mean, 58. They got this. They got yeah. this set points. Two points to, for France. So uh, they will start having a lead. John Charles coming from uh, Nîmes. This uh, indoor season, yeah, having a uh, having a second place in Nîmes, I believe. Something might happen. Because one of what he's uh, saying, he was pointing at his, bow, at his bow at the same time, and not sure what was happening right there. Yeah, sometimes it might suggest explain your shots, and sometimes it's just the best to just forget about it yes. and go on to the next one. Yes. It's unusual seeing JC shoot any eights, though. But I mean, with this pressure and this uh, this yeah. expectation, it, it's hard. It's but very I mean, very hard. He's had pressure before. I mean, when you're at the Olympics, yeah. might just have been that one shot yes. that just went up at the wrong time, at the wrong place. Yeah. I mean, haven't we all had those? Yes, all of all of the time. I had a couple this week, and uh, I got punished for them real bad. I mean. If you do it at these kind of qualifications, well, at the qualifications, you have a lot more arrows to yes, make up for it. But if you do that at a shoot-off, then you're going to be bummed about yes. that. Well, you're always going to be bummed, but well, in a it's shoot about in a getting shoot over it, getting to that next arrow, and just trying to do that. Oh, yes. Like that. Like that. They're shooting super well right now, Italy. They're, I think that they might both be exes. Those are some cool veins. Yeah. Another 10. It might be next as well. They're shooting great. France up on the line. They're going to shoot their first arrow of the end. Let's see if they can keep on rolling as they did last end. And they do. Another 10. France is shooting super well right now, and Italy is right, right with them. I suggest that. This is our last chance for uh, for a shoot off, isn't it? It's our last chance for a shoot off, and I want to see a shoot off right now. <laughs> it would be cool seeing a shoot off with the. Uh, uh, the silver medalist of the, at the Olympics in, in it. It's just low. That's low. low. Mm. Hmm. Shaking his head a little. Probably. That no. might just be the shot. Yeah. Let's see here what David Pascalucci does. Looking strong. He's looking very strong. That looked like a very good shot. It might oh, be. It's a liner. It might be in. Looks in. Let's see, here, Marco Gagliazzo. That's a oh, oh an eight. Ah, they call it still a nine. Could could be a nine. Out left. Hmm. Yeah, it could be a nine. Let's see what the judges say. Uh, Massimiliano Mandia shooting a 10. A 10. That was a great shot. So 
goal at 10, once again. Tavignet. Trying to keep that straight going. That's a 10. They definitely do not want to fall behind right now, but it might be, it might be hard. Having dropped two, and Italy might have just dropped one or two, depending on what their 9-8 line says. The uh, spotter is calling yeah. that's, yeah. that's good shooting. So for now, it's going to be 2-2, two -two and we'll see what the judges think yeah. of that. So it might be a tie game right now, going into the third end. seen all the matches today there has still not been a single shootout which uh, for me is kind of sad because the shootouts are a super exciting part of archery yeah we see the Italians Italians cheering on their team yes trying to go up against all the cheering from all the French people in the crowd having Having people like Sergio Pangi and Marcella Tonioli up in the crowd supporting you is pretty, pretty big, actually. Let's see how this goes. Italy is starting first again, so. The 9-8 uh, liner from Italy was a 9, so we are tied for the third end. Wow. Let's see what happens. It's, uh, Italy is shooting well. I so like the ties, making it a little bit more, I don't know, tense. Oh, yes. Making it excited till oh, yes. the last arrow is shot. <laughs> It's a good shot first from Italy. And let's just hope the rest of the team is enjoying them in that. That's a good shot. It's, uh, they have been shooting solid tens. Yes, I saw Marco Galeazzo earlier this week uh, coaching one of their, one of Italy's juniors actually. Just helping him out during his eliminations and standing there supporting him. And that, I think that's great sportsmanship. Yeah. That's uh, how you're being this great. This is taking great. a little long. Oh, oh yeah. still okay. very much in the middle. Wow, such I a good I mean, shot. if they shoot a 10, they shoot a very yeah. awesome 10. So, Marco Galeazzo being a great role model and a great person of what I know. I think the same goes as we saw this morning with uh, Martin Damsbo. Martin Damsbo in the baby. And France is replying. <clears throat> like to see it when um, the juniors are being coached by uh, some of the best archers in the world. Yeah. Who are their teammates, pretty much. You don't really get to see that that often. It's usually. Oh, that's just out. Uh, so Italy is. Uh, I mean, France is giving it all, all, but Italy only shooting tens in the first three hours of this round. Italy is throwing down a hammer and a wing for, for France to reply. France is That's a 10. He's going to be glad with that 10. Yes. France is right behind. Just one point. It's very close. Three hours more to go this set. That's another middle. David Pasglucci shoots super well. Next up is Marco Galeazzo. I mean, if you look at all those zeros there, they they might all be X's if you count them on a, on a, uh, on a compound com card. Oh, yes. Oh, Ooh. that's a little high. A little high but still. Left. We're still a nine. So 
They are letting France back in into this set. Let's see what Massimilian, Massimiliano can do. That's a nine. That's another so they nine. have let France back in. So France has three hours to go. France and a possibility of a win. But yes. they have to shoot, shoot all tens now. Yes. So we'll see. That's the middle. Karen, That's where you want to do right now. Karen knows how, how to shoot a bow. Next up is Olivier. And... Uh, He's being focused, had a deep breath, and now he's going for it. Let's see here what he does. He's looking strong. He's looking strong. He's holding for a good score. Oh, oh, that's not what you want to do. Italy is kind of, uh, might be uh, Italy has uh, a little happy with that one, but France, not so much. Italy is super that's happy. A okay, that's a solid end, but... Yeah, but I mean, that's the good thing of these set scores. Yes, you can. If you, you can shoot a seven, you, shoot you a got, yeah, you lose this set in this this time. But I mean, it doesn't have anything to do with the next round. No, exactly. I mean, that's the that's the benefit of it. And uh, so they just gave two points to Italy there, and that means we're having. Uh, Italy is leading by four to two against France in the gold Rico men's team gold medal match as European Archery Championships. The crowd here is going France. wild. And, and the crowd is going maniac right now with this. It's carrying on it's in the whole of France. It's great hearing and seeing all the support and love going to the Archers right now. France need it right now all, all the help they can get to take this back from, back from Italy. Italy uh, is looking super solid. The French crowd is, is just... So we'll have France starting this time. Let's see what they will do. Florence right there. I think there. this is the first time that they're, they're starting or not? Yeah, this is the yeah. first time they're starting. We've been tied up until this this point. So Florence right there. Is That's just out. That's his first nine. First nine of the day. He's been shooting very solid. Yes, he has. Let's see if uh, Olivier can uh, pick himself back up after his... Uh He's got a nice way to uh, anchor. Yes. I mean, it's holding long still. There's a nine. Just, uh, you could see that it was taking him a little bit more effort to get that through the clicker. Yes, he was, uh, he's taking his time, definitely. Maybe he was just even struggling. Let's see what John Charles can do. John Charles being a super solid archer right now in this team, and he's That's a ten. A ten. That's what you want right now. Yeah, they need they need tens right now because because the uh, the Italians are, are on their way and they are being relentless. It's uh, <coughs> rather, rather. That's that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's what, what they we will meant. Do. Relentless. Relentless. They will just shoot tens until their coach tells them to stop. Here's, here's Marco Galeazzo is going in for. For it. That's a good shot. That's a 10. Another 10. And well, well if he, uh, he has only got like dead center shots on the left target. Yes. Let's see what Maspiniano can do. That's a 9. Throw that a little bit to the yeah. right. Try to get it in, try to pull it so close, but a little bit. Just not on the line. The French crowd is going wild right now. France is trailing right now by one point this end. Let's hope that that's the way to go. 
Let's hope Olivier can follow and continue this uh, this match for a little bit. I want to see a shoot off. Yeah. That's a nine. Or Maybe eight. an eight. I think Ooh. it's a nine. I mean, he's got like a nine. quite a fat arrow, so. So it should should be in. Should be in. John Charles needs to shoot a ten right now. That's what he needs to do. That's a ten. That's a ten. That's what he need right there. Now let's see what Italy will do. To, uh, I mean, if they shoot only tens, maybe I, I think they can uh, afford one nine, and they've got it. Yeah. That's, That's a ten. ten. That's a good they're, start. They're not letting this victory go right now. They're having it in their grasp, and and they're so close, uh, so they won't. They'll do their best just not to to lose this. To not give this away to France. And that's a 10. That's a 10. This is solid. Solid liner. Yes. Let's it's going to to win it. Massimilia Ma Massimiliano Mandia. If he shoots a 10, they will be closing this off with a solid 59. Yes. And if uh, they only need an 8 to win. Let's see what we'll do. That's a 10. And That's Italy how you win a shoot. just won the gold medal. Yeah. Italy are the European champions of 2017 here in Vittel, France. Shooting two rounds of 59. Yes, shooting very, very Great good. Shooting. Super solid. And John, John Charles Valadon, Olivier Tavernier, Florent Mulot, they are silver medalists here at the Rika, sorry, here at the uh, European Archery Championships in Vittel, France.